Hello. Our topic for today's lesson is Approximation. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's check out the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Know what approximation is all about. 2. Add and subtract approximate values. 3. Multiply and divide approximate values. Please pay attention as we go through the lesson together. Introduction to Approximation Approximation is the process of correcting numbers to the nearest whole number or unit of measure. It helps us to come near to the correct amount, quantity, or condition. The rule of approximation is been explained using the number line on the board. Note that if the number you are approximating, that is, the target digit, is followed by 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Round the number up to 1, and add to approximate value. But, if the target digit, is followed by 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0. Round the number down to 0, and leave the approximate value the same. Note that, to conduct basic operations, involving approximate values. We approximate the number to the right of the target digits to either 1 or 0 and add it to the target digits. Then, we add, subtract, multiply or divide the numbers to get the approximate values. Let's see some examples. Example 1. Find the following in 38 plus 42. The approximate value, the actual value, and the difference between the approximate value and the actual value. Solution. Following the rules of approximation, 38 is approximated to 40. 42 is approximated to 40. To find the approximate value, we add 40 plus 40, gives us, 80, as the approximate value. To find the actual value, we simply add, 38 plus 42, gives us, 80, as the actual value. The difference between the actual value, and the approximate value is, 80 minus 80, equals, 0. That's very good. Example 2. Find the following in 78 minus 23. The approximate value, the actual value, and the difference between the approximate value and the actual value. Solution. Following the approximation rules, 78 is approximated to 80. 23 is approximated to 20. To find the approximate value, we subtract. 80 minus 20, gives us, 60. As the approximate value. To find the actual value, we simply subtract. 78 minus 23, gives us, 55. As the actual value. The difference between the actual value, and the approximate value is, 60 minus 55, equals, 5. That's brilliant. Example 3. Find the following in, 31 times 26. The approximate value, the actual value, and, the difference between the approximate value, and the actual value. Solution. Following the approximation rule, 31 is approximated to 30. 26 is approximated to 30. To find the approximate value, we multiply. 30 times 30 gives us 900 as the approximate value. To find the actual value, we simply multiply. 
31 times 26, gives us, 806, as the actual value. The difference between the actual value, and the approximate value is, 900 minus, 806, equals, 94. That's very good. Example 4. Find the following, in 825, divided by 39. The approximate value, the actual value, and, the difference between the approximate value, and the actual value. Solution. Following the approximation rules, 825, is approximated to 800. 39, is approximated to 40. To find the approximate value, we divide. 800 divided by 40, gives us, 20. As the approximate value. To find the actual value, we simply divide. 825, divided by 39, gives us, 21.15. As the actual value. The difference between the actual value, and the approximate value is 21.15 minus 20, equals 1.15. That's brilliant. Assignment. Pause the video, copy the following assignments, and write the answers in your notebook. In summary, we have learned the following in this lesson. 1. What approximation is all about? 2. How to add and subtract approximate values? 3. How to multiply and divide approximate values? I believe you enjoyed this lesson, see you in the next one. Thanks! And goodbye!